Some materials have a low resistance and other materials have a high resistance. Materials with a low resistance are conductors. Metals are examples of conductors. So that's why metals are normally used in wires. Materials with a high resistance are insulators. Air, foam and plastic are all examples of insulators. And in fact the outside of the wire is normally a plastic coating. And that's just a safety feature so that we can safely handle the wires. Resistance is a measure of how difficult it is for the charge to flow through a component. Resistance is measured in ohms. There is an equation that links resistance, potential difference and current. And that equation is potential difference equals current times resistance. We can rearrange this equation so we can calculate the resistance of a component. Resistance equals potential difference divided by current. So to measure the resistance of a component, we need to measure the potential difference, which we would do using a voltmeter, and we would need to measure the current, which we would do using an ammeter. To calculate the resistance of the lamp in the circuit, we would take the readings from the ammeter and the voltmeter and then put them into the equation. So this is a series circuit with our lamp here and a resistor here. We've got the ammeter in the same loop as everything in series, which is the right place for it to be. And we've got the voltmeter parallel to that component. So let's say, for example, the reading on the ammeter was five amps and the reading on the voltmeter was two volts. We could calculate the resistance of this lamp by using our equation and putting our numbers in. So we've got two volts, which is the potential difference, divided by five amps, which was the current. So the resistance of this lamp would be 0 0.4 ohms. Similarly, if you now wanted to calculate the resistance of the resistor, you could keep the ammeter in the same place, but you'd need to move the voltmeter so that it's now across the resistor. And again, you take your readings, so five amps for the current, and the potential difference here is 4 volts. So we put our numbers into the equation with our potential difference 4 volts divided by our 5 amps to calculate the resistance of the resistor as 0 0.8 ohms. You can do the same in a parallel circuit. For example, if you wanted to measure the resistance of this lamp here, you would need to put the ammeter in the same branch as the component you're measuring and you'll need to put the voltmeter across the component that you are measuring. Using the same equation again, let's say for example the ammeter reading was 2 amps and the voltmeter reading was 6 volts, we would do 6 volts divided by 2 amps to get our resistance of 3 ohms. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSERevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.